Imagine a tiny sensor that can detect tilting in any direction 360 degrees using just a clever metal ball and gravity. Today we are diving into the DF Robot Digital 360 degree tilt sensor V1.0 and I will show you how to use it with both a 5 volt Arduino and a 3.3 volt ESP32. We will cover a total of 4 examples and let me tell you in the 4th example we will monitor this tilt sensor through the Blink application. You absolutely shouldn't miss this example if you want to build an IoT based security system. So without any further delay, let's get started. This tilt sensor uses a metal ball that moves within its unique internal structure under the influence of gravity, either completing or breaking an electrical circuit. This design makes it a simple and effective tilt switch. Traditional steel ball tilt switches which detect tilting in only one direction. This sensor features a cylindrical shape that allows it to sense inclination in all 360 directions. And let me tell you, this is a switch type sensor and does not measure tilt angles. It reliably outputs a signal when tilted beyond a specific angle from the horizontal position. For precise tilt angle measurements, consider using a triple axis accelerometer instead the most popular one is the MPU6050, which I have already used in multiple projects. The DF Robot Digital 360 degrees tilt sensor V1.0 is designed to operate with a working voltage of either 3.3 volt or 5 volt DC, making it compatible with a wide range of microcontroller boards. It uses a simple digital interface, providing an easy way to connect to devices like Arduino or ESP32. The sensor has three pins. D for digital output, plus for power, and minus for ground, ensuring straightforward wiring. Inside, a steel ball moves to close the switch when tilted at an angle of 45 degrees or more from the horizontal position. As you can see, I have connected the DF Robot Digital 360 degrees tilt sensor to an Arduino Nano. The reason I'm using this development board is because it already has an SD1306 OLED display module and a 5 volt buzzer which I am going to use in two examples. Let me tell you how to connect all these components. Connect the red and black wires of the tilt sensor to the Arduino 5 volt and ground pins. Connect the green wire to the digital pin 3 on the Arduino. The buzzer is connected to the Arduino digital pin 8. You can follow this circuit diagram. This is an I2C supported SSD1306 or LED display module. Simply connect its voltage and ground pins to the Arduino 3.3 volt and ground and connect the SDA and SCL pins to the Arduino I2C pins A4 and A5. If you also want to make the same Arduino Nano based development board, then I highly recommend watching my previous video. I will add a link in the description below. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. In this example, we are not using the OLED display. Instead, we are focusing on the tilt sensor and the buzzer. The code starts by defining two variables. The buzzer uses pin 8, and the tilt sensor uses pin 3. The setup function runs once when the Arduino starts. It sets pin 8 as an output to send signals to the buzzer and pin 3 as an input to read signals from the tilt sensor. Then in the loop function, the program constantly checks the tilt sensor's value using digital read function. If the sensor reads high means it's tilted, the buzzer turns on with digital write buzzer high and stays on for 2 seconds due to delay 2000 milliseconds. If the sensor reads low, indicating it's not tilted, the buzzer turns off with digital write buzzer low. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the DF Robot Digital 360 degrees tilt sensor in action. Next, in this example, we will use the tilt sensor along with an OLED display module to enhance our project. This code connects a tilt sensor to pin 3 and a buzzer to pin 8 on the Arduino while also using an SSD1306 OLED display module to show a switch graphic. Instead of function, it initializes the pins and OLED display module starting with an off display. The loop function checks if the tilt sensor tilts toggling a system active state that updates the OLED display module to show on or off. 
and sounds the buzzer for 2 seconds when active and tilted. The update display function draws a 68 by 34 pixel switch moving it right for on or left for off based on the state. If the system isn't active, the buzzer stays off and the display defaults to off. This time I have connected the tilt sensor to an ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. If you prefer, you can also do the wiring on a breadboard. The reason I'm using my designed ESP32 development board is because this board has a 5 volt SPDT type relay which I can use to control almost anything. Let me tell you how to connect this tilt sensor and 5 volt SPDT type relay. Since ESP32 is a 3.3 volt compatible controller board, so connect the voltage and ground wires of the tilt sensor to the ESP32 3.3V and ground pins. Connect the green wire to the ESP32 GPIO15. The 5V SPDT type relay is connected to the GPIO13. For the relay connections, you can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. This is exactly the same code I used with the Arduino in example 1. This time I only changed the pin numbers. I'm using GPIO13 to control the relay and GPIO 15 for monitoring the tilt sensor. For now, I haven't connected any load to the relay, but if you want, you can connect any AC or DC load to it. Anyway, when I tilt the sensor, you will be able to hear the relay's clicking sound. Now, in this fourth example, we will monitor the tilt sensor through the Blink application. Since this is going to be an IoT based project, it means we will be able to monitor this tilt sensor from any part of the world. So let's go ahead and start with a Blink IoT dashboard setup. I have already made a getting started video on ESP32 and Blink where I have explained each and every detail. This includes how to install the ESP32 board in the Arduino IDE, how to install the Blink library and how to control and monitor loads and sensors over a long distance using the Blink IoT application on a smartphone. The program has been successfully uploaded. Now let's start with the Blink IoT application setup on the smartphone. So that's all for now. 
support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.